what's up everyone welcome back to the channel today's a good day finally the day has come i saved the best for the last we're going to do the exhaust finally i can get rid of this annoying oem muffler and put my valvetronic exhaust it's my own brand it's my company so should be cool please subscribe if you still haven't hit that bell notification button you know you want to be the first one to see the videos once i post them Driving over right now to the muffler shop. We're gonna go ahead and cut our muffler off and put the new ones on, and then I'll do I'll do the wiring a little later. But as long as we get the weld on there and get the tips right, we're good. All right, so we ran into a little issue. They wanted me to leave the car overnight, and you know I'm not gonna do that. There's no way I'm doing that. My car is coming home with me. So I told them to start fresh in the morning. They know exactly what they gotta do. So I just got back home. It was a total fail, but we know what we're doing. So tomorrow we're gonna attempt to cut the exhaust and put the Valvetronic mufflers on. So here's the setup. Valvetronic exhaust from Envision to Life. This is the pump itself. It's gonna pump air through here. That's gonna be the positive and negative cable. It's gonna have a little antenna here for the keyless right here. And there's the antenna as well. What we're gonna use is a T-hose. We'll hook up the T-hose to these hoses right here that'll go onto the Valtronic mufflers. This is the wire that's a positive and negative. You can run it off the DC, the cigarette lighter, whatever, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and run my own and I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna cut this and then I'll connect it and it'll have its own power source. If something goes wrong, it'll just pop this fuse instead and it'll just kill the whole setup before frying this. And the last thing we need is this. Not really, but yeah. So if you guys ever see me, just hit me up. I'll give you one. All you gotta do is share, comment, like, or subscribe and I'll give you some of these. I got a bunch, it's always in the car. I tried a few things, I tried taking this out. This piece didn't work out. So what I ended up doing literally is I poked a hole in here and this goes right through. And it's directly right where the exhaust is gonna sit. I'm hoping it's just gonna be like less than a feet for it to hit the valve. So I'm gonna punch another hole right here on this side. So it's gonna be two of them and I'll be able to slide this through and one more on the other side. I am gonna mount the box here. So once I mount the box here, it'll be easier to just hook everything up, I'll fish the wires through here and I'll get it to the battery. So the first thing I'll do is I'll test it. I'll go ahead and put one on the cigarette lighter to see how it works, if it works out good. And then I'll do all the hookups. Alright, so I got the hose in, pretty much goes right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give it a little, maybe a couple inches there, and then I'm gonna cut right there. And we're gonna run the T hose, which will be that. Alright, we got it on there. Now we're gonna get some long ones right here. What I did is I cut about three to, yeah, three feet each. So I got two of them and it seems to be fine. It's long enough. However, we have a lot left. So if we need to mess around, we can always do that, but it should be fine. hose set up it doesn't matter where we mount this we're still gonna use the holes to get them fishing through and tomorrow I'll be able to do that once we drop the muffler once the muffler is dropped we'll be able to punch a hole in the heat shield or get around it whatever it takes to get it done All right, so we're gonna put the antenna on it's really 
simple. Looks like a number eight. I don't want this sticking up. That's pointless to me. I'm gonna try to point it out maybe, or it doesn't matter to the front of the car or something. It doesn't matter. I just don't want it to break or get in the way. So there's that. It said to be gentle. It's not like a heavy duty item. You can kind of see that little gap right there. And there is one on the bottom as well. So you want to connect it in the correct way. Boom. It's in and then you can lock it in by twisting it to lock it in place. Now we're going to test it out. I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Made like a beeping sound so I'm pretty sure it works. <laughs> Can hear the pressure. Sorry guys, that was my air compressor. It was the air lift performance, kind of lifted the car since it was in motion. But it works. Seems to be cool. It's off now because the whole car turned off. It's pretty simple, guys. Literally, it's a little compressor in there that pumps the air, and I was holding it from here and it was letting it go when it was compressed, which was working. The power goes from positive negative or your cigarette lighter antennas for your key on and off it's real simple you don't even have to add this if you're not going to hook it up to your battery you can hook it up to a switch if anything you can do a lot but it's real simple the envision to life setup it is my own brand i had this custom made for my own car i i am going to sell a few just to test them out see how everybody likes them So excited guys day number two i'm about to go get my exhaust done like this was the last thing left to do and i've been waiting for so long for this like the car didn't make sense at all without this here guys went ahead and parked waiting for the guy to set up once he has it all set up then we can start cutting and pulling that oh we have muffler out Alright, so I finally got it on there. Everything's welded on, it's intact. I can't wait to hook up my hoses and just test it out, guys. Like, I'm aching to do that right now. So, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I drove a little bit. I really like the way the valves are closed. It's silent, it sounds just like stock. I'm taking off, you can hear it. the two lines I hooked this up temporarily to the cigarette lighter and you can kind of see what I did there's the blue line it goes in there and it goes up top same with the other side all right we're about to test it right now got it all hooked up Pretty much this much cord. We don't need all of it. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. And there's two wires in there. One is black and one is red. It's common sense at that point. Red is power, black is ground. I'm gonna also cut this right in the middle. And we're gonna use this for the positive. So if anything goes wrong, this pops first. So I do have one already for my compressor. I'm just gonna run it off here. I'll just attach it to that, we'll be fine. And then the negative ground, same thing. I'll attach it to that, we should be good. So I got the positive in, as you can see right there. There's two of them, two wires, one for my airlift compressor and one for the exhaust. And now I'm gonna do this one, but I took it off the terminal to do it, so that way there's no friction or anything. All right, so we don't need this anymore. I got it all hooked up. I even put the fuse on there. Should be good, we can test it out right now, see if it has power at all. Put the car off. Seems to be working. As you can see, it's opening it up. And now closing. All right, so here's the wire. What I did is I tapped it in right here. Here's the box. Those are the two hoses that go to the exhaust. And the wiring kit right here. And I stabilized it, it's real stable. Right here, I just cut this, slapped it in. I didn't have to make a bracket yet. I will test it out, see how it goes. All right, so that's it for the video, guys. I love the exhaust tips, they're acropoic. They're three and a half inch from the outside and the inside is two and a half to fit the original size. And it was pretty simple to do. Wiring was a piece of cake. I'm excited to test it out. Can't wait to run it down, up and down the street. But that's it for today, yo. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Starbucks drive through It's gonna be the first one I have in like two months ever since quarantine. So I'm really, really excited. I got my exhaust done. I'll rev it up a little just so you can hear it. It ain't the loudest, but it's cool. I can work with that. And I can shut it off whenever I want to, so it's cool.